Hey everyone and welcome to Momentum channel. My name is Mo and in this video, we're going to take a close look at an emerging biotechnology company, Time Technologies. We're going to take a close look at the company's fundamentals, assess its stock, and also talk about the price prediction for Time Technologies stock. Let's get into it. Shares of Time Technologies, which are traded on NASDAQ with ticker symbol TYME, are up over 95% year to date. The stock price has shown a positive return of 72% in the past months alone. That said, can the company continue with its stock price momentum and reach new highs? We'll take a look at how analysts are estimating a one-year stock price target of almost $9 for Time Technologies. Most recently, Time Technology announced its fiscal third quarter results on February 3rd, 2021. Following that announcement, the stock price went up by over 24% on the next trading day. Time also launched an at the market stock offering to sell more shares and raise capital. Time is now looking to raise an additional $100 million through a direct offering to institutional investors, which has priced at two and a half dollars per share. Time Technologies does not have a revenue at this time. And in fact, uh, as a result of that, they're burning through their cash. In the last uh, fiscal third quarter, they burned uh, $5.9 million in cash. Uh, nonetheless, they are still left with $13.5 million in cash left uh, on their accounts. Based on active clinical trials in pancreatic and sarcoma cancers and other business developments, time continues to anticipate that its quarterly cash usage or cash burn rate will average approximately six to six and a half million per quarter during fiscal year 2021. Looking at Time Technologies income statement and their fundamentals, you notice that uh, the company does not have any revenue reported at this time. And from an operating income perspective, they are only reporting operating expenses, mainly due to selling general and administrative expenses, as well as research and development expenses. As a result, if you look down further and look at their company's net income, you're anticipating obviously a negative uh, net income. In fact, it's a net loss and the trading 12 months net loss for Time Technologies is currently sitting at 27.5 million dollars. Now, if you scroll over to company's balance sheet, you'd notice that uh, their current assets uh, is uh, kind of uh, ups and downs for the past uh, several fiscal years, but their current asset is sitting at 15.2 million dollars. And if you compare that their current liabilities, their current liability is sitting at $4.6 million. So the fact that their current assets larger than their current liabilities is a good sign. Uh, similarly, for their total assets is at $15.8 million, and it is higher than their total liabilities of $6.6 .6 million. So from a balance sheet perspective, that's positive. However, it's not uh, necessarily the same story when you look at the cash flow. Understandably so, because they are not making uh, any uh, revenue or sales, their cash flow is estimated to be, of course, um, negative when it comes to the operations. You notice that the trailing 12 months cash flow from operations is sitting at negative um, $24.2 million. Now, let us take a look at some of the valuation metrics. And uh, according to Seeking Alpha, uh, the one valuation metric that is available for the company is their price to book value, which uh, is, is decided based on the last closing price of the stock divided by the book value per share. And it is trying to be 33.80, which is a lot higher than the sector median. So for price to book value training 12 months, ideally you would like to see a smaller number. So the fact that this is much higher than sector median is not a good sign. Now, if we scroll over and take a look at some of the profitability metrics for time technologies, uh, in terms of the return on common equity uh, for trading 12 months, it is a negative 475 plus percent. And it is a lot worse than the sector median of negative 37%. If you look at their cash flow from operations trading 12 months, it is showing a negative $24 million, as we talked about. And it is, again, uh, a lot worse than um, the sector median of only negative $13.90 million. And lastly, their net income per employee trading 12 months is negative one and a half million, which is worse than sector median of $284,000. So from a profitability metrics as well, um, across the board, the company's uh, metrics are showing poorer numbers as opposed to the sector median, at least. All right, now moving on. And if you look at the price target for the stock, according to analyst estimates, uh, according to Yahoo Finance, the one year uh, target uh, price established for uh, this stock is at $8.75, which shows a considerable upside potential uh, 
uh, knowing that the last trading price for Time Technologies SVC as of February 5th was $2.38. Now, uh, as for Finbox, they do not currently have a Finbox fair value uh, calculated for this stock. However, uh, according to analyst uh, targets um, that are provided through Finbox, the uh, price range seems to hovering around $8 to $9 and with a um, average of $8.72 price target. Again, it's showing a upside potential uh, from that aspect, but it's not really based on the true Finbox fair valuation uh, calculated based on their underlying intrinsic worth. Uh, just uh, given the fact that uh, the stock is not really uh, having any revenue at this time, and we talked about the higher price to book multiple for them. And lastly, if you look at tip ranks uh, here, uh, based on one analyst uh, estimate uh, offering the 12 months price target for the um, time technologies, uh, they are providing a estimate of $9.50 per share and offering a moderate buy ranking. If that stays true, this shows uh, close to 300% upside potential for the stock price um, for the next one year. So uh, that remains to be, of course, seen, um, but something that many investors might be int intrigued in. Okay, so we're going to change gears and take a closer look at some of the recent news and announcements with regards to time technologies and what are some of the recent developments with the company uh, that has led to the fluctuation in the stock price and what could potentially impact its price momentum uh, in the year ahead. Looking ahead, time currently expects the following key events in calendar year 2021. Continuing to advance enrollment in the HOP ES sarcoma phase two trial, which is expected uh, to have data uh, readout in calendar year 2021. They want to also present clinical data on SM88 at a major medical meeting. They want to continue to advance their enrollment in time 88 PANC pivotal study, though the full enrollment and data readout are not expected to be available before calendar year 2022. They also want to continue to advance enrollment in PANCAN. Precision Promised Adaptive Randomized Phase 2 and 3 Registration Intent Trial in Patients with Pancreatic Cancer Using Their Oral SM88 in Second Line Monotherapy. And lastly, they want to initiate the Proof of Concept Trial, Respond to Evaluate Time 19 as a Potential New Approach Against Rona Virus. Most recently, on February 3rd, the company announced that it has received notification that the United States Patent and Trademark Office has granted additional patent claims related to the company's uh, metabolomic technology platform, uh, and the patent is directed to methods for treating Rona-19 virus. For the fiscal year 2021, the company's main goal is to successfully execute their Time 88 PANC pivotal trial by evaluating the oral SM88 as a potential treatment for patients with third-line pancreatic cancer. While cancer survival rates have improved steadily since 1970s, much more progress is needed. This year alone, cancer will strike nearly 1.8 million Americans and an estimated 18.1 million people worldwide. During the last quarter, Time continued to build its leadership team with the announcement of Richie Cunningham as the new CEO. The company also announced that Steve Hoffman, the former CEO remains in the role of chairman of the board of directors and continues as the company's chief science officer after his successful tenure as chief executive officer that he's held since 2015. Well, there you have it, folks. A closer look at Time Technologies, its company's fundamentals and the stock, as well as the price uh, prediction and the news around uh, Time Technologies stock. I hope you found this video beneficial and you gained something of value from, you did, from it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might benefit from the video as well. Do you currently own shares of Time Technologies or are you considering to uh, buy it? I would love to hear from you. Be sure to leave me a comment down in the comment section of the video. Uh, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't done that already, please be sure to uh, subscribe to Momentum channel. Here on Momentum, we post the various videos about stock market investing, finances, and financial uh, education. Uh, thank you guys, and I hope to see you next time.